AT&T call to the bullpen. Earlier than Terry Francona wanted, it's Dan Otero. Is working five games this postseason. Bases loaded, one out. Russell takes a ball. The Cubs tonight, four for six with runners on. Again, after going 12 for 77 with men on through the first five games. I think this is a decent matchup for Russell. Otero likes to pitch right-handers in. Russell, of course, struggles with the ball away and breaking balls. Drove in 95 runs during the regular season. Takes it down the count to it all. So now you just look at one spot and one spot only. This is where you think about lift. Get the ball in the air. If nothing else, a sack fly. Look in the gaps. Remember, the lead runner is Kyle Schwarber. Coming off in-season knee surgery on his left knee. 2-0. Wow! Yes! against Houston in the 19th in World Series history. Two hops to Lindor to his left. Two out. Well, he's in a box here with 2-0, and you see the sinker catches the middle middle, and that's all you got to look for as a hitter. Even though the bases were loaded, and it's a 2-0 count, you can never give in to the hitter. I'm sure he was trying to paint that a little bit, and he didn't. In all of Chicago, this. Now Hayward takes a strike. Say it again. Two huge home runs out in LA. With his Cubs down two games to one. In the NLCS. Game four, game five. Now this shot to alleviate some, not all, of the pressure here in Game 6. The count goes to 1-1 one one on Hayward. Well, unfortunately for Francona, this game got easier to manage now. The 7-0 deficit, his team's going to have to crawl back. But it affects the way he uses his pen, and he'll have a loaded pen ready, barring a big comeback by the Indians for tomorrow. It's easy to forget how young Addison Russell is because we've heard about him in the minor leagues with Oakland and the trade to the Chicago Cubs. He's just 22 years old and during the regular season, drove home 95 runs, hit 21 home runs. Ball really jumps off his bat. That's his third home run of this postseason. Yeah, and it does. And the, low, the low average speaks to what we've seen in the postseason. Anybody with stuff that's spinning away from him, he really struggled. That leg kick got higher. But when he can stay inside the ball, and that's a theme with this Cubs hitters, young hitters. Hayward pops it up. Out goes Lindor. Inning over. Good things happen. In the inning, Tomlin is chased. Russell chased one out of the park. A grand slam in the third inning. It's 7 to nothing as they celebrated Murphy's Bleachers in Chicago as the Cubs try to force a game seven. 